Okay guys, uh, I put it after a long day yesterday of uh, being on for uh, eight hours. Uh, I put it in uh, it in the microwave to see if it uh, charges. And let's see. It's uh, so it is uh, somewhat brighter. So actually, a lot brighter. But uh, I see it's not really consistent. When you shake it around, but still. Uh, looks like it's being charged up a little bit. It's not consistent though when you move it around. It's like some contact inside isn't very solid. But uh, it is brighter than, uh, than when I put it in there. So it does seem to take a charge in a microwave. Could also be my microwave isn't is isolated that good, so it's not really a Faraday's cage. But most most uh, microwaves are. So okay, um, what I'm gonna do now? You see that it's not really consistent all the way. What I'm gonna do now is that uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, turn it off, and then uh, uh, recharge it again uh, for uh, the next day. And uh, tomorrow we'll do the third run because uh, I already did a second run on it and uh, my my GoPro will stop working after four hours <clears throat> so I have only have time lapse for the uh, first four hours of the of the second run uh, I did make some uh, some video uh, this morning uh, after it's being turned on for eight hours to show you uh, that the light was also pretty dim almost the same as, uh, as on the second on, on the first run uh, the reason why you haven't seen the f first one and second one yet is that I'm waiting uh, until I'm done testing the all three runs and then compile it in one video so it's, uh, it's easy to view for all. Okay, so uh, this is my update, my second update now. Um, keep you posted guys, bye.